In this episode, we will explore how AI is transforming website building. One, two, three, I could see uh, the huge difference after the AI breakthrough. Before AI, I needed to create the, the code. So I mean, I needed to create the layout from scratch, everything from scratch. And right now with a simple prompt, you can just say to these uh, AI tools, in less than one day, you can have your website running. AI uh, tools uh, now make it easier and cheaper without a tech expert. For companies or entrepreneurs who need uh, something simple to manage and to showcase mm -hmm. uh, the, their business is a great option, these kind of tools. AI is a powerful tool, but like any tool, you need to know how it works and how, how you can use. Hi everyone, welcome to such exquisite a weekly podcast about AI technology and lifestyle. My name is Christina Schoene and I'm glad to be here with you today. In this episode, we will explore how AI is transforming website building. Also, AI uh, tools uh, now make it easier and cheaper without a tech expert. And also my guest, he will tell us a lot of information about this how we can create websites, how we can use AI, and also he will tell us about his projects. So today I'm pleased to be here with you as the most incredible person, and this is Javier Perez. Hi, how are you? Hi, thank you so much. I'm glad to be here. Mm -hmm. Cool. Uh, so, and uh, I need to introduce my guest. He is an electrical engineer with passion for AI and software development. So but the first question I would like to ask you, can you tell me how did you understand that you want to work in this sphere? Uh, you mean why I want to join a in AI? Yeah, I think AI is uh, you know the future. Mm -hmm. uh, all all this stuff about data and AI is changing so fast. Um, I think business or uh, entrepreneurs needs to be aware of. So mm -hmm. yes, uh, that's why also I like autom automation. So that's why I think uh, I will definitely become an expert on this field. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Could you tell me what are some uh, of the, for example, things AI is allowing people to achieve uh, in websites, for example, building, and how does it differ from a traditional website uh, or how like designers uh, methods? Yeah, I mean, uh, I started working in web design three years uh, before OpenAI released uh, ChatGPT. Mm -hmm. And I could see uh, the huge difference after the AI breakthrough. I have been working with uh, web, uh, with builders that allow how to create a website from scratch. Like, for example, in WordPress, you have uh, builders like Elementor and DB Team. You can mm -hmm. also use a uh, Webflow, Wix, Bakery, where you can create beautiful designs like layouts and add functionalities like chatbots, uh, booking, and e-commerce. Also, you can build e-learning platforms. For example, if you want to uh, launch an academy where mm -hmm. you can upload your videos of your, I mean, your content, you can also do it really, really, really fast. In less than one day, you can have your website running. So that's the magic of these uh, builders and the magic of uh, these new technologies that even without too much knowledge, you can do it by your own. So I think for companies or entrepreneurs who need uh, something simple to manage and to showcase mm -hmm. uh, the, their business is a great option, these kind of tools. Um, and what I said before about uh, that I started before OpenAI released ChatGPT. It's because mm -hmm. I because right now I can see the the, the difference. For example, uh, before AI, I needed to create the the code. So I mean, I needed to create the layouts from scratch, everything from scratch. And right now, with a simple prompt, 
you can just say to these uh, AI tools, like, uh, I want, uh, for example, I want a homepage with four sections. The first one will be the hero image with title, description, and a button. And the mm -hmm. second one will be uh, the about of section. And the third one will be, I don't know, maybe the service section. And okay. finally, the con uh, contact of section with the basic form. So the AI will generate uh, the layout for this uh, homepage. And this is basically that will save you a lot of time. Of course, mm -hmm. most of the time uh, you need to write properly this prompt because uh, maybe you will not get the results that you that you wanted. But mm -hmm. uh, at least at least you will have a, a layout that you can work. Yeah, and you can save your yeah you can work on you can save and you can save your time. It's also good, I think. Yeah, exactly. Just like mm -hmm. to change. Also, um, could you say to me? <clears throat> by the way, I forgot to tell that Javier is from Venezuela. So, and I also have one question right now, and I would like to inquire you. Um, do we have any difference in your sphere in your country and here in European countries? Because right now Javier in Germany. So, and I'm like glad to ask about this question. Like, do you see any difference between two countries? Uh, do you mean the in using technologies? Yeah. For yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. For example, in Venezuela right now, I think we are not allowed to use ChatGPT. We need to use uh, basically um, a BPM. Uh, so in Germany, it's easier because you have access to all the technology that you that you need for for your business. Mm -hmm. um, also, another difference is that of course you you need to pay memberships or or yeah, basically the the subscription for all these tools, and maybe in Venezuela you you don't need to pay for this uh, for this membership or subscriptions, but yeah yeah I mean there are also a, a lot of rules here that you need to be aware of, and that's also really important when you are yeah. using technologies. In Russia, the same situation because of this, I can say that uh, like in Germany, you have more freedom. And we can do almost everything what you want to do in the sphere. So this is good. Okay, I got it. So also, can you tell me about, uh, for example, or can you share with us your uh, challenges uh, that you in kind, uh, encountered uh, while, um, I can say, implementing an iron website project? Yeah. Okay, uh, as I said before, uh, one of the challenges will be that maybe the AI will not create the, you know, the, is it what everything you what they want? Yeah, yeah. And you need exactly. to change like so, anyway. Exactly, exactly. Because right now I think AI is in early stages. Mm -hmm. So sometimes when you ask to the AI agents to create a layout for you will not be enough professional, you know? So mm -hmm. in that case, I think you need to understand at least the basic uh, um, ways how to edit, uh, you know, your website. So if you are mm -hmm. using a builder, how to how to do the basic stuff with this builder. So once you have your layout, uh, once you have your content, you can just move around and edit a little bit. I think that's going to be one of the challenges that you will face for sure. OK, how then you can see the future with AI in five years and 10 years? How it will be? What do you think? Yeah, I think, I mean, that question is uh, it's difficult to answer because uh, we don't know exactly how it will be this AI engines. Uh, I mean, if this is too advanced for us, but uh, I will say that these tools that we have right now, that they are in the early stages, they mm -hmm. will definitely be so much better. So this content creation, dynamic content creation will be so much better. Also, for example, for copywriting is also really good. And for creating images is also really good. For example, in web design, we need a lot of images, uh, uh, copywriting for sure, for SEO. And so with AI, I think all this process will be more um, effective. Um, mm -hmm. Yeah, you can have a, you will have a more professional uh, designs, a more professional image, and more professional content for your, for your website. So yeah, also, for example, I think AI will enable to create a dynamic website uh, according to your preference or according to the previous data that website uh, has uh, from you. For example, Amazon, um, every time you go into Amazon and click in some pages and 
watch some products, you are basically giving data to them. So then, so after that, they can use that data to basically uh, give you recommendation of the products that you are, I mean, did you, from your previous data, that the, the data they got from you, then they, mm -hmm. they can use for, give you recommendations. So I think that's basically what we are going to see in the next uh, five, 10 years. I mean, this technology is bold, but more, so much better. Can you tell me about your projects, about your website, that people can understand what you're doing right now? Uh, right now, I'm just creating uh, a blog where basically I'm sharing all what I what I know about AI. Um, basically, what I want to do is uh, um, it's share all the information about AI that can help entrepreneurs or, or companies uh, in the early stages to basically use AI tools in their business. That's what I what I want to do right now. So yeah, my website is Awaken AI. It's about, it's about that. It's okay. about uh, how the AI is changing our future and how it's changing business and how it's changing everything in the world. Okay, how does uh, AI assist you analyze, uh, for example, user behavior on websites? Okay, uh, for example, um, you can use software to track every interaction a uh, user has on a website, mm -hmm. from click to scrolling or even the time they spend on a specific uh, page. Uh, you can track all sorts of form submissions, product views, and up and down card. Uh, so with AI, you can basically analyze this data to identify patterns or trends that can be used to understand how visitors engage with the website. So mm -hmm. as I told you before, uh, Amazon used this technology to make recommendation of routes. I think for someone who is uh, started uh, with a business, they can mm -hmm. also use. For example, okay. if you have a blog, um, you want to see uh, which blog uh, had the, the the better or the best engagement, you can see uh, uh, which of them have more visits or which of uh, which of them uh, the people that spend more time. So with this information, you can basically create more content. So you can mm -hmm. focus in the content that really is working. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So I think uh, you can use technologies, for example, that Google Analytics. Mm -hmm. um, you can integrate into into your website, and then mm -hmm. you can see all these uh, features, all this data that you are basically collecting every day. Okay, how do you incorporate, uh, for example, AI technologies into the process uh, of website development? Mm -hmm. Okay, okay. Right now, I'm using AI to create content. Uh, mm -hmm. Basically, uh, I'm talking about uh, copywriting. Uh, mm -hmm. I'm talking about images. I'm talking about find keywords for SEO, that is search engine optimization. Um, SEO is basically the process to optimizing a website to improve its visibility and ranking on search engine result pages. Mm -hmm. For example, when you type on Google, uh, what is the best place to have a lunch in London, right? So mm -hmm. the idea is to, is to find the best keywords from for this content. If okay. my web, if my website or blog is about a restaurant in London, I want to identify uh, which keywords uh, could help me could help people easily to find my business online, right? Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. right now, uh, what I'm doing is, for example, use ChatGPT mm -hmm. to try to find these keywords. I send my content to to I I mean I create a prompt. And then I try to figure out uh, which keywords are, are better. And then I use uh, websites that also allowed me to search. Uh, I mean, the information that uh, ChatGPT gave to me is like uh, mm -hmm. the, these keywords. Then I use these keywords in another website to check uh, how frequently the people is, is basically searching for this, uh, for this specific uh, keyword or content. So that's why okay. I can identify which keywords uh, I, I could use. Also, you can use AI right now for creating a logo. Also, you can use for creating the branding. I mean, choose the colors, choose the typography, that stuff. 
I think also it's really important that uh, to understand that sometimes uh, when you are creating a website, you can uh, get some issues when you are developing. I mean, developing the the website. So mm -hmm. on the sometimes we are not technical guys or or if, if I mean if you are creating your own website. So sometimes you need to understand what's going on, and then you can just check the issue. Um, put in, for example, in ChatGPT, and ChatGPT will help you to to understand this issue better and how to solve it. That is why it's relevant. Okay. So it's important to understand how you can fix these issues. So yes, that's uh, that's how basically I'm using AI technologies in my daily basis in web design because it's more effective and you can improve your your timing. I mean, improve your your performance while you are doing websites. Do you want to give maybe one advice to the person who only wants to start uh, do the same what you are doing right now? Uh, I mean, I think uh, I think it's important to understand the basics Don't of do the technology. <laughs> Don't do it. <laughs> okay. No, no. I mean, I think it's important to understand the the technology. I mean, the basics, the basic stuff. I mean, if you want to create a website, so. You need to first search which technology is better for you. Mm -hmm. um, for example, if you if you are talking about a speed optimization, which builder is better for a speed optimization? You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. uh, so yeah, it's basically that because AI is a powerful tool, but like any tool, you need to know how it works and how how you can use. So when you are creating a website, um, first understand the basic stuff. And then if you want to integrate AI, you also need to understand the basic stuff about AI. I think right now the basic uh, that you need to understand is how to create a really good prompt. That the prompt is basically these instructions you give to the model. Uh, so you can give, you can have your, your questions, your answers, sorry. So um, yeah, basically it's that. I mean, you need to understand how to build your, your, your prompt. This is called a uh, prompt engineering, but uh, you don't need to be a professional. You just need to understand the basics. So then you can ask mm -hmm. to the model and this model will uh, answer you in the best way possible according to your prompt. So I think, yeah, that's uh, I think one of the, the tips that I, that I have right now, mm -hmm. just understand the basics. And then once you understand the basics, then I think you can go for more complex projects or whatever. Okay, I got it. Thank you so much for this interview and thank you, thank you so much that you came and thank you for a lot of information about this topic. It's a really interesting one. And guys, if you want to have a lot of again information, we will ask Javier about the second interview and he would like to go, I think. So, and also like, if you have any questions you can ask in comments, you can also give me a like and also don't forget to subscribe to the channel. So thank you so much and have a good day. Bye. Bye-bye. Thank you so much.